As we look ahead to the winter of 2025 to 2026, get ready for a season unlike any in recent memory. The atmosphere is primed for frequent storms, wild temperature swings, and some of the most memorable weather in years. The main driver? A shift in the Pacific Ocean as El Nino fades and we move toward a La Nina-leaning neutral state. This transition means no single climate force is in control, setting the stage for a chaotic clash of air masses and a roller coaster winter. Expect sharp regional contrasts. Some areas will endure relentless Arctic blasts and heavy snow, while others stay unusually mild and dry. The jet stream will be highly active, fueling everything from blizzards to severe weather outbreaks. Bottom line, this winter will demand preparation and attention. Don't wait to get ready. To truly grasp why this winter's forecast is so unpredictable and wild, we need to start with a phenomenon that shapes weather patterns around the globe. Let's break down the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO, a powerful climate cycle that begins in the vast Pacific Ocean but has ripple effects across continents. ENSO has two main phases, each with its own dramatic impact on global weather. The first is El Nino, which occurs when unusually warm waters build up in the central and eastern Pacific. This warming disrupts normal weather patterns, shifting the jet stream, and often leading to significant changes in rainfall and temperature. The second phase is La Nina, marked by cooler-than-average Pacific waters. This phase tends to push the jet stream northward, creating a different set of weather extremes. During El Nino years, the southern United States often experiences wetter and cooler conditions, with frequent storms and heavy rainfall soaking the region. Meanwhile, the northern states typically see milder winters with less snow and warmer temperatures than usual, making for a gentler season. La Nina flips the script, bringing drier, warmer weather to the south, which can lead to drought conditions and less relief from the winter chill. At the same time, the north and northwest brace for colder, stormier winters, with increased snowfall and the potential for powerful blizzards. This year, however, we find ourselves in a rare neutral phase. Neither El Nino nor La Nina is fully in control, leaving the atmosphere in a delicate balance. But the balance is tipping ever so slightly toward La Nina, hinting at a possible shift in the coming months. This means the jet stream, the high-altitude river of air that steers storms, will be especially unpredictable, snaking across the continent in unusual ways and making it hard to forecast what comes next. The result? More frequent and intense clashes between frigid Arctic air plunging south and warm, moist air surging up from the Gulf of Mexico, setting the stage for dramatic weather events. This volatile setup fuels a stormy, high-impact winter for much of the country, with the potential for sudden snowstorms, ice events, and rapid temperature swings. Without a strong ENSO signal to guide the season, we can expect rapid changes, one day mild and sunny, the next day blanketed in snow or drenched by rain. The atmosphere is primed for volatility, with every region at risk for surprises and extremes. That's why meteorologists are calling this winter one of the most active and unpredictable in years, so be prepared for anything as the season unfolds. To predict what's ahead, forecasters look to the winter of 2013 to 2014, a near match for this year's setup. That season saw a weak polar vortex, unleashing brutal cold and record snow from the Midwest to the East Coast. Chicago and Detroit shivered through one of their coldest, snowiest winters ever. Meanwhile, the West Coast and Florida stayed unusually warm and dry. The storm track hammered the Great Lakes and Northeast with nor'easters and heavy snow. Drought worsened in the West while the East was buried in snow. Even the hurricane season before was quiet just like this year. All signs point to a winter with intense cold in the East, warmth in the West, and a very active storm track. This winter, the United States will experience a dramatic weather split, with the nation divided between regions gripped by deep freeze and others basking in unusual warmth. The contrast will be striking, and the impacts will be felt from coast to coast. In the Northern Plains, Midwest, and Ohio Valley, residents should brace for relentless waves of Arctic air. These areas are set to endure sustained cold, with temperatures frequently plunging well below average. Expect frequent snowfalls, icy winds, and a persistent chill that will make outdoor activities challenging and increase heating demands for homes and businesses. Winter will arrive early in these northern regions, with the Great Lakes and Upper Midwest facing some of the harshest conditions in the country. Snowstorms could begin as soon as late fall, and the cold is likely to linger well into spring. 
Frozen lakes, heavy snowdrifts and biting winds will be common sights, making travel hazardous and putting extra strain on infrastructure. In stark contrast, the west coast and the southern tier of the country, from California all the way to Florida, will enjoy a much milder, warmer winter. These regions will see above average temperatures, with many days feeling more like late autumn than the depths of winter. Sunshine will be plentiful and outdoor activities will remain popular throughout the season. For those living in the south and along the west coast, winter may feel like it's been put on pause. Instead of snow and ice, expect to see vibrant autumn foliage lingering longer, people enjoying the outdoors in light sweaters, and green lawns persisting through the season. The mild weather will be a welcome relief for many, but it may also bring concerns about drought and water shortages in some areas. The sharp temperature divide across the country will act as a battleground for powerful storms. Where the cold Arctic air meets the warm, moist air from the south and west, expect the development of intense weather systems. These boundaries will be hotspots for dramatic shifts in weather, sometimes changing from calm to stormy in a matter of hours. This active storm track will serve as the engine for major snow and ice events in the colder regions. Cities and towns in the Midwest and Northeast could see significant snow accumulation, icy roads and frequent disruptions to daily life. Snowplows and salt trucks will be working overtime to keep streets clear, while residents will need to stay alert for rapidly changing conditions. Meanwhile the South and West will supply the moisture that powers these storms, warm air rising from the Gulf of Mexico and Pacific Ocean will feed into the storm systems, increasing the risk of heavy precipitation, not just as snow in the North but also as rain and even flooding in some southern areas. Ultimately, where you live will determine whether you're bundling up against the cold and snow or enjoying mild sunny days. This winter's forecast promises a season of extremes with each region experiencing its own unique challenges and opportunities. The precipitation forecast mirrors the temperature split, some regions will be drenched, others left dry. The main storm track will funnel gulf moisture into the Midwest, Ohio Valley and Northeast, bringing frequent storms and above average snow. The Great Lakes and interior Northeast could see persistent, heavy snowfall, especially from lake effect events. Meanwhile, the Gulf Coast and Florida will be drier than normal, with the main storm track staying north. The West Coast, from California to Washington also faces a dry winter. Bad news for drought concerns. The Midwest and Great Lakes should brace for both snow and dangerous ice storms, especially along the battleground between cold and warm air. The type of precipitation, snow, sleet or freezing rain, will be just as important as the amount. This winter, expect a season of weather extremes. As winter approaches, meteorologists are closely monitoring several hot zones across the country, regions that will face the brunt of this season's wild and unpredictable weather. These areas are not just random spots on the map, they're the battlegrounds where powerful forces of nature collide, creating some of the most hazardous conditions we'll see all year. The Ohio and Tennessee Valleys, often referred to as our winter battle zone, are set to experience frequent and intense clashes between frigid Arctic air from the north and warm, moisture-laden air from the Gulf of Mexico. This volatile mix makes these valleys prime targets for a wide range of winter hazards, everything from heavy, wet snow to dangerous ice storms and even severe thunderstorms. Residents here should expect rapidly changing conditions, with the potential for multiple disruptive weather events throughout the season. In these regions, just a degree or two difference in temperature can mean the difference between a picturesque snowfall and a crippling ice storm that coats roads, trees and power lines in a dangerous glaze. Sleet, freezing rain, and sudden snow squalls can develop with little warning, making travel treacherous and increasing the risk of accidents and power outages. Moving northeast, the densely populated I-95 corridor, from Washington DC through Philadelphia, New York City and up to Boston, is bracing for a particularly active season. This region is no stranger to nor'easters, but this year, meteorologists predict more frequent and intense storms, with at least one or two blockbuster snow events likely. These powerful systems can dump feet of snow, shut down major highways, and bring cities to a standstill. The Midwest and Great Lakes are also in the crosshairs, with repeated Arctic blasts expected to sweep down from Canada. These cold surges will trigger heavy lake effect snow, especially in cities like Chicago, Cleveland and Buffalo. Residents should prepare for blizzard conditions, whiteouts and dangerously low wind chills that can make even short trips outside risky. 
Out west, the Rockies, including Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana, are forecast to see early and abundant snowfall. For ski resorts and winter sports enthusiasts, this is great news, promising deep powder and a long season. However, heavy snow can also increase avalanche risk and make mountain travel hazardous, so caution is advised. Across all these high-risk zones, communities must be ready for more than just snow. Power outages, travel disruptions, and hazardous road conditions are likely. Emergency services may be stretched thin, and even routine activities like commuting or grocery shopping could become challenging during major storms. If you live in one of these hot zones, now is the time to prepare. Stock up on essentials, create an emergency kit, and stay connected to local weather alerts. Being proactive can make all the difference when rapid weather changes strike, helping you keep your family safe and your home secure. This winter's risks are real and widespread, touching millions of Americans from coast to coast. Stay vigilant, stay prepared, and remember, in these high-risk hot zones, a little caution goes a long way. This winter's volatile pattern brings a second severe weather season to the south. As cold fronts dive south and meet gulf moisture, the lower Mississippi Valley, Dixie Alley, faces a high risk for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. States from Louisiana to the Carolinas could see dangerous storms erupt in November and December. The 2013 analog reminds us how destructive late-season tornado outbreaks can be. Don't let your guard down just because it's winter. Have a severe weather plan and stay alert for warnings. Make sure you have a way to receive alerts and know your safe place. Winter in the South can turn violent fast. Be prepared. With an active pattern, the first snow could arrive early in many regions. The Rockies may see significant snow as early as October, kicking off a long season. The Northern Plains and Upper Midwest could get their first accumulating snow right on schedule, or even earlier. By November, major winter storms may bring the first big snow to the Midwest and interior Northeast. December and January are prime time for blockbuster storms in cities like Chicago, Minneapolis, Boston, and New York. This year, be ready early. An active jet stream and La Nina lean mean early season surprises are likely. Don't wait for the first flakes. Prepare now for whatever winter brings. With such an active winter ahead, preparation is essential. Get your home ready. Have your heating system checked, seal drafts, and stock up on essentials. Prepare for power outages with flashlights, batteries, non-perishable food and water. Ready your car with winter tires, emergency supplies, and a full checkup. Make a family communication plan and sign up for weather alerts. Know what to do if you lose power or get stranded. Taking these steps now means you'll be ready for blizzards, ice, and extreme cold. Stay safe, stay warm, and face this wild winter with confidence.